Today I've got more Roy and HG and this is them talking about the Aussie customer service industry. So tell me what you think about the Aussie customer service industry. Tell me what you think about Roy and HG's views on it. And this is probably going to have been recorded a while ago. Tell me if it, the industry's changed for the better or for the worse since then. Yes, uh, last week a report was released that uh, shocked and shattered uh, most people. It, uh, it certainly shattered our conception of ourselves as a nation that provided good service. It appears that all areas of the tourist industry are affected by shoddy service. Roy, you often travel dressed in mufti around this nation as a foreigner. How bad has the service become? Actually, the service is appalling in Australia. Uh, uh, it's an absolute bloody embarrassment. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what how, how tourism is going to go ahead in this country. Uh, look, just the other night, uh, there were a few of us, uh, a couple of New Zealanders, uh, a couple of uh, German friends, uh, a couple of Japanese chums who've just uh, blown in. Uh, I took them to, uh, I won't mention the establishment, no, no. the Siebel Townhouse. Yeah. <laughs> in, in Sydney? In Sydney. Wow. And I asked for a cocktail. I said, I want a Bradman. A Bradman? Yes. yes. It's very simple to make. Yeah. Just a bit of creme de cao or whatever it is, and uh, a little cream. bit of lime juice, some cream, and a apricot. Yeah, cherry on top. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to make. Uh, an umbrella with a bit on of the gin, side. With a gin, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, they didn't know what they They said, sorry, sir, we, we can't furnish you with that. Uh, I asked a for Bradman? A, a Bradman. I asked for a stack pole. Yeah. <laughs> they asked me to leave. Uh. They asked us to leave. Uh. Absolutely bloody hopeless. Uh. You get in the cab, they don't know where, you, where to uh. take you, they don't know where anywhere is. Mm. It's just, the, I mean, the, the wheels have come off. Oh, yes, they have. And the stack pole's dead easy made, to make. All Creamy cacao. Yes, yes. Yeah, a bit of gin. Uh, uh, strawberry on top. Yeah. And Lime juice. The, the difference between it and the Bradman is you just put a couple of jiggers of stolly in yes, there. Yes, that's well. right. It's dead easy to make. That's right. Well, you can put anything in a stack pole. Indeed. <laughs> now, overseas tourists were surveyed as they left the nation to yeah. produce this alarming report. Yeah. Who are the worst whingers? Who are the hardest to please and why? Which nationalities, that is? I think you're New Zealanders. Are oh, they? <laughs> you're Japanese, are good. Yeah, generally. They, generally, they don't understand since language. Since the war. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Settle down a bit. Your, Ger the your Germans are OK. Yes. Uh, as long as you, since since the, well, the, as long as you make it pretty bloody clear. Oh, well, you stand. Yeah, we won, they didn't. That's right. <laughs> it's bloody pretty clear. bloody clear. Yeah. And they understand that. They, 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 they actually smile a little bit about it. Yeah. You know, come on in, losers. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> but, you know, w when I was working in the service industry, uh, actually, I, I always felt it, it never hurt to smile. Uh, oh, it God. never hurt to smile, and it was always better. Make people feel happier as they're walking away from you than they were when they were walking to you. That was the simple principle oh, yes. I walked. Yes. I, I, look, if people got into the cab when I was driving, mm. I'd have a little packet of lollies, mixed right. lollies, mm. assorted lollies, and I'd say, would you like a sherby or a musk stick <laughs> or a cobber or a clinker <laughs> or a bit of PK mm. or, some, or some juicy fruit yeah. or a lightsaber? <laughs> Where would you like to go? Yeah. And if they were German, you'd express interest in them. Mm. You know, I love your country. I haven't mm. been, mm. but I think the world of your mm. country, I love mm. your helmet coal. Mm. <laughs> now, where would you like to go? Mm. Uh, you look very nice, very neat. I like yeah. the way you look. Yeah. You keep the cap very, very nice. Yeah. And you don't take tips. No. Sometimes I'd pay them. <laughs> <laughs> As they were getting out, they want to give you money? No, no, no. no. Here, here, I'd get it out of the, you know, the little satchel I had. Here's yeah. $5. Yes, that's right. <laughs> because you knew they were going to spread the word elsewhere. Yeah. How good Australia was. How good Australia was. Yeah. And if it was a young couple, a young couple right. just visiting Australia from overseas, yeah. I'd say, look, uh, would you like to borrow my car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A cat. Would you like to make a few bucks? Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Or uh, why not come over to my place and we'll have a party? Oh, yeah. I'll phone a few friends around and we'll have a little impromptu. It didn't hurt. No. Of course it didn't. That's what service is. Yeah. Putting in. Oh, yes, putting in. Now, look, uh, Roy, <clears throat> taxis, hotels, airlines, airports, banks, shops and public transport yes. have all been bagged in this survey. That's right. Which do you think is the worst and why? Banks. Banks. <laughs> Bloody banks. <laughs> no one smiles in banks anymore. No. When I was a, when I was a young teller, the first lesson was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi. I'm Roy. I'll look after you. Which account would you like looked at? <laughs> oh, deposit, certainly. Not a problem. Mm. Cash a check? Not a problem. <laughs> it's not hard! No. That's the thing that people... Why can't we teach that sort of thing? We don't teach manners anymore. Oh, no. Service! Mm. I mean, the future of Australia is bent 
ripped out of the front of the bonnet, the trousers down, <laughs> without my nationality coming in, queuing up, queuing up, so how to go? You've just got to turn around and... <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Roy goes so off on one man. So true. There's more and more, mate. Once we make that clear, once it's clear, we'll be uh, fine. Look, can I ask, are, are schools and teaching institutes setting the right agenda vis-a-vis -vis the problem of service, given, given that the only hope of this nation with regard to employment is trying to get more people into the service industries, of Roy? Of, of course it is. I mean, you and I have been on the case for years now. Yes, yes, but I are know. the schools and the TAFEs and the uh, institutes... I don't know what they're doing. No. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> what they do. People in service these days, they don't smile, they're just called po-faced. Yeah. You, you, you tell them a joke, they don't laugh, no. they don't get it. No. You know, I was always told, no matter what the nationality, if someone came up to you and it sort of sounded as if it had a punchline, you laugh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, yes, yes. No matter what it was. You know, it was Von Hill. <laughs> Very funny. Hello. Or... Now, Roy, can I and stop? You know, yeah, that's right. That's right. have some of the money. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Just going back to that taxi, I'll never forget uh, one night. I think you uh, offered to take uh, people from the Siebel Townhouse out to Penrith. Yes. Uh, might be a $150 cab ride. Uh, you stopped at the Rookwood Cemetery on the way out and got him a beautiful bunch of flowers fresh off the ground. <laughs> and then at the end of the ride, you paid him about $25 and didn't take a penny off them. They were the happiest couple in Australia they that were, night because they, they thought that, hello, we've met somebody who cares. That's right. Who's interested. Exactly. Now, now, actually, look, I think we've got to have sort of an underground sort of police force monitoring service in this country. Mm. I'd nominate a current affair. Mm. I think... They were the ones on the hall. They were the ones on the hall. Mm. I'd, I'd get rid of this bloody law called entrapment, mm. and I'd let the current affair get out there and bloody well... Mm. Just Have a look at people. ...show Australians how bad the service is. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm... Yeah, tell me if you agree with this. Like, is this still representative of the Aussie customer service industry? Do you... Do you relate to, do you feel like this is, you've been in these situations, whether it's the bank, whatever, in the taxi, do you think it's got better since then? I mean, on the other hand, I'm just wondering if we're marketing, marketing ourselves overseas in an incorrect manner. I mean, oh. if we said to people overseas, come to Australia and leave your ideas of service at home, yes. enjoy an old-fashioned country that only cares about the people in it, come and have a look. Yeah. Come and enjoy. Look, but don't touch. That's right. <laughs> Stay away if you want your butt wiped with a beautiful peacock feather every morning at 11 a.m. because we're not going to do it. No. <laughs> we're not going to no. go to in there. That sort of gear. If you want your Bradman and your stackpiles, you can make them your bloody old self. Yes. <laughs> at the Siebel Townhouse yes. or anywhere else, you kidder. Put your swag down. <laughs> so to get people in, it's Australia, mm. come. Because we'll hate your guts. <laughs> wow. you tell them the truth. I reckon the message should have been... I always hated him dealing uh, with them. Oh, yeah. Bloody tourists. Oh, <laughs> I hated the guts. Yep. As soon as you, when you were driving the cab, as, you, as soon as you found out they were foreigners, you just yeah. showed them the door. That's right. Get you in. showed them the door. No yeah. matter what was on the meter. No, get in. Yeah. Yeah. You'd hear the accent. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> They like really make each other laugh so much. <laughs> Written in a number of languages. That's right. You know, Japs. You know. Oh, bugger off. <laughs> That's the international Go language on. I understand. Go back to your own land. That's right. Leave us alone. Slime. Yeah. <laughs> what it should be is we're taking the shrimps off the barbie. Yeah. Understand? <laughs> we can't make it any plainer than that. We're getting the barbies to it off. Yeah. 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 Absolutely genius stuff, man. Someone told me this is like all off the top of their head and that was just a perfect example of amazing comedy. Yeah, tell me if you think, if you agree with their views on this one. I think that's quite an interesting thing. As I said before, I could listen to them talk about anything, whether it's people of a certain country, people of a certain industry. Great stuff, man. Tell me what you think about this one. Thanks.